Hello everyone. My name is Dominic Butler and I'm the lead game designer on Ghost Recon Wildlands. This video is a short version of our new solo walkthrough. You can click here to check out the full version right away. At this point, a developer from the team has unlocked the final mission of Espiritu Santo. He is infiltrating a large Santa Blanca camp deep in the jungle. His objective is to extract a cartel VIP, La Santera. Right now, the player is sneaking up on the camp's cartel manager to interrogate him. You have five seconds to tell me what I want to know. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. Thanks to this intel, all weapon and equipment cases in the province are now highlighted on the player's tack map. Interrogations are one of the ways to uncover intel for secondary objectives, such as supply raids or rebel ops. This is a good vantage point for the player to set up a sync shot with his teammates. Go. I copy. When playing solo, you'll be able to manage your three AI teammates with the command wheel. Target acquired. Got the target. Target marked. The teammates can execute the sync shot on the player's command. You guys ready? Fire. While they will adapt their actions to your playstyle, the teammates can be spotted as well, so you need to take this into account. The resources you gather will allow you to upgrade your player character and find new and exciting abilities. The player was very close to being detected, so he used a silent takedown a to incapacitate the enemy. Unidad bird on patrol, watch out. This is a Unidad helicopter patrolling the area. Unidad is a military faction collaborating with the cartel. If they spot you, they will start hunting you. But there are ways to incite interfaction war between them and the cartel. Target's down. The player has now reached the upper part of the camp and is nearing La Santera's position. There are four enemies ahead of the player. This is a good opportunity to perform hey, another sink shot. shot. This time, however, the player will engage the fourth target directly. Go. Tango's down. The experience the player earned here allowed him to level up. Switching to the skills menu, you have five different categories to customize your ghost. Using the newly earned skill point and resources, the player will unlock and equip the explosive drone. Explosive drone in the air. There's an SUV with heavy weapons and armor plating. OK, 
Okay, eyes on target. Here the she is. explosive drone is a good way to create a diversion. But if you want to know more, check the long version of this walkthrough here or on ghostrecon.com.